What's up YouTube, Stomp603 here, and I'm just going to do a quick video um, on cartridge overall length. It's in uh, response to a response on one of my, um, the last video that I did about 223. Um, and the debate is cartridge length affects cartridge overall length, essentially, um, which one has nothing to do with the other. So in my last video, I was using the Dylan, the, the case gauge to demonstrate that this will determine whether the cartridge length needs trimming or not essentially which this one doesn't it's below the high step and above the low step okay um, the response was because my the variance with the the Dillon case gauge I mean you can have a couple thousands difference in cartridges and they'll be acceptable but because of those different lengths I was getting different overall lengths after I seated the bullet <clears throat> so moving on this case here is 750 or 1.750 that's your trim to length so that case is perfect and then this here is a case that I trimmed a lot off of it which is measuring in at 1.680 okay so you're talking 70 thousandths difference between these two and if I hold them up together, you can definitely see just by the neck that one is significantly shorter than the other. Uh, I just want to also go on to, um, if you were to measure each bullet before you seeded them, there is a difference there as well. This one measures in that 7, 3, 3, 0.733 inches. And then this one here is... seven three almost seven so even if we said six there's three thousands difference in the length of these bullets and in the video I don't know exactly why they're different I assume that there's more copper or lead on the tips of the bullet um, but anyway that's kind of irrelevant so all I'm gonna do is just, these ain't primed or there's no powder or anything in them I'm just gonna see these two bullets my die is set up for uh, 2.200 that was the the 750 case this is the 680 case <clears throat> and you can see right away if I hold the bottoms together or you can see the necks together they're just about the same length to the naked eye they would be looking like they're the same length um, one bullet you can see the cantaloupe a lot more than the other one obviously because the neck is trimmed down so putting these in the micrometer this is the 750 case it's going to measure at 2.201 right around there so a thousandths off your target overall length and this one here measures at 2.204 so there's a three thousandths difference between these two bullets and this is the point I was getting at um, in my video that's measuring from the tip to the bottom of the shell why there's three thousandths we don't know um, seen as your bullet seating die does not press on the tip of the bullet it presses on the old guy of the bullet and you can actually see the mark in the copper on every single bullet where the rod inside here is sitting over the tip of the bullet like right about there and pushing the bullet into the brass so when you use a comparator which measures the ogive this one here is going to measure in at 2.875 okay which is pretty much where I want all mine at And this one here is also 2.875. So it was 3 thousandths difference in overall lengths, but when you measure from the ogive to the base, they're exactly the same, okay? Even though there's 70 thousandths difference in case overall length. So that was just kind of uh, what the discussion was on my post there. I just wanted to show the uh, guy that posted 
the comment why um, the statement that he made wasn't true. Um, I'm not trying to blast anybody here. Just want everybody a better understanding of the stuff we're kind of talking about. Um, that's it. My name uh, Stomp603 here, and I appreciate you watching the video.